carbon dioxide. We know it as a climate-damaging waste product, but couldn't it also be a valuable raw material? Recycle it? CO2? That sounds to me like an inexhaustible source of raw materials. If you could make meaningful use of it, super. In the best case, you would conserve raw material reserves. I think that's great. Someone's finally doing something useful with it. That's exactly the approach that Covestro is taking. CO2 is being turned into a useful ingredient for high-performance foam, like that found in mattresses. The waste gas is now being recycled in a new production facility in Dormagen, Germany, just outside Cologne. Up to 5,000 metric tons of a foam building block called polyol can be produced here from CO2 each year. The use of carbon dioxide is a technology of the future, and we at Covestro are pioneers in this field. The new technology is being applied in the production of polyurethane, a versatile foam that makes life easier and more comfortable. Polyurethanes and their polyol component have always been based primarily on petroleum, but now a portion of that scarce resource can be replaced by incorporating about 20% CO2 into the polyol. Using CO2 as a raw material is a way to conserve resources and foster sustainability. No company today can afford to ignore it. The new Covestro process makes it possible to close cycles in the industry and conduct business more ecologically. In principle, the idea of using CO2 in industry has been around for decades, but just how it would work in practice was unclear for a long time. Like petroleum, CO2 contains carbon, which is precisely the element we need for our products. But CO2 is very inert, so we have to find something to jumpstart the CO2, to get it moving. We need the right catalyst. And the catalyst really does shift the CO2 into high gear, so that it can react with the traditional component from petroleum, the propylene oxide, or PO. The chemists achieve the kind of rare reaction most colleagues can only fantasize about. A dream reaction. The catalyst's formulation is top secret. The process was developed by Covestro researchers in collaboration with the CAT Catalytic Center at Aachen University in Germany. Tests showed that polyols and polyurethanes based in part on CO2 have at least the same high level of quality as their counterparts made entirely of conventional raw materials. And so the dream reaction was followed by dream production, the beginning of commercial application of CO2 as a raw material and its production on an industrial scale. Yesterday still just a dream, today reality. Covestro is offering an entirely new product that saves petroleum and uses CO2 as a raw material for mattresses and soon surely for much more. Really good? Tested and approved.